In the early 1990s, Super Mario World became an instant hit with gamers, so Nintendo in turn made two more Mario titles. But instead of making another fun side-scrolling adventure game, they made two shitty educational games. And these were called Mario's Time Machine and Mario's Missing. Now I only have time to review one of these games, so which one should I choose? Now I'm sure that reviewing either of these games will affect the outcome of my day, so I should probably choose wisely. Well, I guess I'll review Mario is Missing. Okay, so the story is Mario's been kidnapped. So for this game, you'll be playing as Luigi. Now picking any of these doors in the main area will transport you to a different city around the world. And you'll quickly learn by talking to the townspeople that these cities are being overrun by Koopa Turtles. Hey, there's another one. Hey, what the hell? Did I just walk right through them? What kind of bullshit game is this? Sure, you can bash their brains in all you want, but they won't be able to do a damn thing about it. So wait a minute. This game pretty much gives you diplomatic immunity. Sweet! Hey, maybe I can get away with pissing on public property, too. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Okay, so after picking up an item a Koopa Turtle has dropped, it's then time to take it over to an information booth. Now what I find odd at this point is that the receptionist doesn't take the item back right away. Instead, she'll just sit there and ask you a bunch of questions. Hey, what the hell do you think this is, lady? The Spanish Inquisition? Just take back the damn item already! God, this game sucks. Should've just picked the other game. Now, I only have time to review one of these games, so... Which one should I choose? Now, I'm sure that reviewing either of these games will affect the outcome of my day, so I should probably choose wisely. Well, I guess I'll review Mario's Time Machine. In this game, you take control of Mario, and in the first area, Mario has a choice of picking from any of these seven doors. After picking one, you'll then enter into an area that's a classic throwback to the first Mario Bros. game. So after defeating all three turtles, and picking up the item they leave behind, it's time to head over to your time machine and figure out which time period the item belongs to. So since we picked up a torch, odds are it came from ancient Greece. In each time period, your mission objective is to return the item from the area it was stolen. And figuring this out should be pretty simple. I mean, torch, torch stand, yeah, that's a no-brainer. So after you've successfully returned the item, the day is saved. Now you return back to the first area to pick another door, and fight off another set of turtles. Oh boy, another set? Ugh, this is gonna be a long game. So after you've defeated this set of turtles, they now drop an apple. So this probably belongs to the time of Sir Isaac Newton. At the end of this level, we come to a huge tree. So the only thing left to do now is to drop off the item. Wrong location? Son of a bitch! Ugh, and now the game bitch slaps you by having a little bird fly across the screen to take the item away from you. What a dick! Now you have no choice but to head back to your time machine, re-enter the same door, kill three more turtles, grab the dropped item, hop your happy ass back into the time machine, return to the level, and head back to the tree. Whew, I thought this game was supposed to be fun. Yeah, I'm having a real party over here. So where exactly am I supposed to put this stupid apple? They don't really want me to put it in the tree, do they? Oh, you motherfuckers! I hate this game! After completing a room, Mario will then place bricks in front of the door. Now it's time to enter through another door, and you guessed it, kill off more of these stupid turtles. But now, they'll start dropping items that are hard to figure out which time period they come from. Like the steering wheel, for instance. Now where's this go? Well, I guess we'll try 1602. Okay, so drop it here and, uh... Ah, damn it! And here comes that stupid bird again! Why, you little shit! I got a bird of my own for ya! Oh, oh, you're playing a Mario game! You mind if I watch? Ronnie, I don't have time for your crap today. Get the hell out of here! Oi, Vey, what a grouch! So once Luigi returns all three stolen items and Mario is missing, it's now time to get the hell out of here. So after returning back to the main area and picking another door, you'll arrive in a brand new city, and your long and boring search for three more items will begin all over again. Well, you lucky bastard. Now this game has a total of 14 boring as shit levels to explore, 
So if you manage not to hang yourself by the end of this game, then consider yourself a winner. Oh, oh, you're playing a Mario game. You mind if I watch? Well, if you don't mind being bored to tears, be my guest. Oh, this is great. So after completing all the levels, we then arrive at the last boss of the game. And just what the hell is this? A Koopa Bull? He can't even hurt you either. What a joke. So after you defeat this stupid thing, you'll be able to free Mario from his prison, and you'll get a screen that just says, Thank you? Oh, come on. This is all I get? You gotta be shitting me. I played this game for over three hours. So Mario's missing? is a piece of shit. If you mess up at any point in Mario's time machine, you'll be forced to go back and kill more of these stupid damn turtles. After you've killed them off again, they now drop a quill pen. Well, let's try taking this over to Gettysburg. Makes sense, right? Oh, come on, again?! Yeah, take that, asshole! So after going back and killing a shitload of more turtles, they now drop a sledgehammer. Hey, now I definitely know where this one goes. In the 1980s, Peter Gabriel did have a hit song called Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. So 1989, here we come. Alright, let's see if this works. Well, hot damn, another success! Yeah, brick that shit up, Mario! At last we come to the final door, but before you can enter, you are given a pop quiz and all the information you should have been reading throughout the game. And you did remember to read all this stuff, right? Well shit, me neither. Oh well, we'll just consult the Nintendo Power Magazine. So just what is behind this big huge door you ask? Well nothing more but tons of more turtles! Holy shit, look at them all! What? Actually, I'm just messing with you, because the last boss, in fact, is Bowser. And just like every other pathetic enemy in this game, he won't be able to hurt you. So after defeating him, because you will defeat him, you get to free your pal Yoshi. But wait a minute, how the hell did Yoshi get caught in the first place? I thought this bozo was outside waiting for me after dropping me off at the beginning of the game. So what the hell? So Mario's time machine is a piece of shit.